This is Chris from Save Those Memories. Thank you for watching this short film about what the Scanbox 4K is capable of and how I get the very best out of it. Let's look at the Calibri software and how that gives me total control over the 2K images I produce. This is how my control software appears on screen. Overall, I have three screens, but let's look at the two most important. The left-hand screen is the whole gate image, including the sprockets. On this screen, I create a blue capture box. This box contains the image that will be captured. This is shown on the right-hand screen. There are two main colour correction systems, RGB and HSL. With RGB control, you have control over the whole colour spectrum. As a single master control, or you can control the individual colours, blue, green and red. And you can see the effect that this has on the image that would be captured. With HSL control, hue, saturation and luminance, again you have control over the whole image, or the master image, and control over individual components of the image. The blacks, the gammas, which are shadows and highlights, and the whites. If we look at black control, the changes I make will only affect the black areas of the image, such as this doorway here. Note that when I change the colour, the doorway changes, but not the white shirt. The most important part of getting the colour right is analogue light control. And light is mainly controlled by the camera. I can control the width of the iris and the amount of time the iris remains open for each frame. Digitally, light is controlled by camera gain. And as before, I have control over the gain for the whole image or individual colour groups. Red, green and red together, green and blue together, or blue. Auto white balance puts me in the correct ballpark for each image before I make all of the individual adjustments you have just seen. I can control not only how the camera reacts to the light, but I also have control over how the light is presented. Here, where I can control the output of the light sphere. You can see how the light output is represented by the waveform above. Getting these waveforms to be roughly the same height shows the light is correct for that image. And I can do this not only for all colours at once, but individually, red, green and blue. Finally, on this very brief run through of the process, I can choose the codec to use for the file output. I can choose from DPX, which runs at 1.1 terabyte of data per hour of film, or H.264 as a .mov at around 67 gigabytes per hour. The choice of either of these codecs for the master files means I can create files anywhere from 8 gigabytes per hour to over 1 terabyte per hour, and all points in between, 